Well, hello, travelers. And as you can see, we have made it into Epcot World Showcase. And we are in Canada because we are going to La Cellier tonight with Becca and Michael because they just treat us, treated us okay. to a special event. So come along and let's see what Becca's favorite restaurant here in Epcot, La Cellier, has to offer us tonight. This is the garden area right before we get into La Cellier. And yes, it is supposed to represent Victoria Gardens in Canada. Um, we have heard during the food and wine, which is getting ready to start, they will not be closing that down for the apple. They will still be running the O Canada show. Is it the O Canada show or is it the new Canada show? I'm not really sure. But Canada Pavilion is going under from refurbishments. It's just so pretty. Getting ready to go over the bridge. The gardens are immaculate. Mountain looks great. The trees up there are nice and green. More the rustic feel right over here. Scaffolding doesn't help too well, but you know, that's what it, it needs when you need to paint and do all the refurbishments. Gotta take the bad with the good. So this is the entrance now into La Cellier, so you gotta go through the construction walls. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the menu right here, because it's a little dark in there. So we'll show you the menu, and I think I know what I'm already getting, and I don't even think I'm getting an entree. If they have that poutine, it's one of my favorites here. I actually believe this may be my dinner tonight. The um, La Cellier Beef Bourguignon Poutine, right there, $15. And then I'll come right down here to the Maple Whiskey Glazed Brussels Sprouts. You know me. And that's only $10. So for $25, this will be my meal tonight. And you know, maybe some dessert a little bit later. But maybe I need to look at the... Nah, that's what I want. I wanted the poutine and the Brussels Sprouts. And if you walk this way, this is actually the circle vision. So we'll walk back this way a little bit. See if we can see the waterfall great theming of course and Epcot as always we're just waiting on our table so I want to bring you guys back here that is O Canada back there far and wide still doing a 360 circle vision it has updated in movies but this is the waterfall And then if you take these stairs right here, that'll take you to the upper level of Canada, the pavilion up there. But right now it's closed because of construction. Anybody remember when they painted the castle and they went and numbered each brick for the different colors it was supposed to be painted? I wonder if they did the um, Canadian pavilion the same way. I don't see any numbers down here. Or are they going to come along, put numbers, and that will be the new coat refresh paint? So travelers, we've ran into a little problem with reservations that we now have discovered. If you make your reservations and you're within two hours of your reservations, they can't be modified unless you call to modify. Even if you show up to the restaurant that you have the reservations, you can only check in 20 minutes before. But here comes the but. If they have open seatings, people can actually walk in before you can because you were before your reservation time and they're taking the walk-ups. They won't change your reservation time to an earlier walk-up time. The walk-up times just stay that way. And this is La Cellier, the interior. It is a very small restaurant and it's La Cellier because it's the cellar. It's supposed to be the wine cellar right down here. But it has got good food, Becca's favorite, so we'll see tonight what they have to offer us. And there's part of the wine cellar right behind the entry right here. As you come in, you can see some of the wine cellar. Travelers, we have made it in to La Cellier. Here, let me do it this way, so don't block Michelle. So we've made it into La Cellier. Uh, this is Becca's favorite um, restaurant, and the dynamic duo is right over there. I've got to take my hat off, but please forgive my hair. Oh my god. I know. I know. So, um, 
it might help. It's so dark in here. It feels like I'm having dinner at um, Game of Thrones. Winterfell. <laughs> we are in Winterfell. You know I mean, Michelle don't drink. Oh, very rarely. But down here on the bottom, she spotted it. The ice wine flight. We might have to get that. We have to get that just to share it to see what it's like. Because no, Canada no, is known for the ice, ice wines. <laughs> so we placed our orders. Becca went with her traditional filet. With always. But she went with the, instead of the risotto, she got the Yukon gold mashed potatoes. What did Michael get? The ribeye. The ribeye. He went with the ribeye. Michelle went with the ribeye also. Michelle also went with the ribeye. I went with the beef bouillon poutine and the macaroni and cheese. So I cannot wait for that. And we also got the wine flight. So we're going to give that a try. We are at La Salle for Becca because she's actually getting ready to start a new career with Disney, which we can't let everybody know yet. How many have they seen? Like five? I know. Trends? She's been through some careers. But this one is... No. It's actually in the park that we're in right now. Wherever so, you go, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, she'll be there. Um, but we're going to go over the prices real quick. The um, filet mignon that Becca got was 62 And the ribeyes are, yeah, the ribeyes were 59 and 59 Look phenomenal. And my poutine was 15 and my macaroni and cheese was 13. So we've gotten the bread service and our wine flight. Michelle is taking a video of the wine flight while I do the bread. But this is supposed to represent the provinces of Canada. Um, she explained it all to me. But I didn't know they had this world's second largest Oktoberfest up in Canada. Only the Munich, um, Germany is the largest. They won't know that. So that's what the pretzels represent. But that's the rolls right there. We cannot wait to give them a try and the wine flight. Okay, guys, go ahead and dig into the bread. What are we trying first? Is there enough we can take a sip of all of them? Yeah. All right, so this one is the Chateau de Jarn. Chateau de Jarn. Loads of honey, apricot and flowers, and bloom, flavors, fresh fruit, and salads. Okay. Those have notes of honey. We're going to see here. Ooh. And took Michelle's breath away. <laughs> kind of like me when I come into the house. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? That was hot. Kind of like me when I come into the house. <laughs> it doesn't help that everybody is now staring at me. It doesn't help that you're a two by two space. I wasn't prepared for that. There is a bathroom. <laughs> You good? No, you good. She's good. She's good. She's good. Come on, we're down the wrong tier and it was alcohol and it was hot. Cheers to my gentleman. Do you have a butt part? I was good until I saw my lick and then I breathed and it went down like that. Why are you laughing? I don't know. It tastes like grape juice. That's ooh, that's sweet and good. Do you see the notes of honey? Do you see the notes of honey? Becca? We're passing it around. Notes of honey, apricot, flowers. It's very sweet. Yeah. Okay, let's do the next one. <laughs> We're ready for the next one. Mike over there, like he's a sommelier. <laughs> Becca's over there swirling it. <coughs> yeah, it's it's really good. This is good. Oh. You try again, Don't try Yeah, Michelle's gonna try that again. It's good. Yeah, it's, they're so sweet. I know. By the way, ice wine is, if you don't know, it's a, the grapes are frozen on the vine, then taken and pressed, and that's what gives you the ice wine. So it gets a higher sugar content. There is no taste of alcohol in it. Is this the same one? Oh, I thought we were going on to the second one. Okay. I was like, that'd be a problem. 
That is good. Oh my god, that's good. Another drink? Another drink? Another drink? Okay. 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 Bottoms up. That one was good. Very good. I like to say I'm the lucky one at the table. Nobody likes these rolls but me. The multi grains. Michelle doesn't like them because of all the seeds. We are enjoying our bread service. But we've determined the butter's really nice and sweet. Me and Michael. We have a I'm a little slow to the party sometimes. It's just, it's just. When she sat down and said, This is honey butter, we all knew it was sweet. Oh, I didn't hear her say honey butter. We didn't discover a new butter. I just, I was on the ice wine flight. Yeah, eat your seeds. Are we going to have some more ice wine? I was too busy laughing at me for choking. Like, why is that funny? Why does my oh, face so no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you going to the well, We got to drink the ice wine because our dinner's going to be here soon. Oh, it's her. It's her ice wine. Yeah. And that was the second one that had the brown. You could taste the um, apricot, and that really came out too strong. Oh, I didn't. To me, it did. I like it. You like it? That's a winner. Oh, okay. There's a mango. I think that one's smoother. Smoother? Okay. More depth. Listen to Becca. She's turning into a professional over there. I got a scout water. The other one just tastes like a. She's right. Sparkling grape. That one's good. Mm. Very good. The food has arrived and it came fast and furious. It was just a muck, a muck, a muck coming around. Um, I'm going to take the camera off so I can show everybody. So, this is Becca's filet right here with the mashed potatoes and that risotto. The Brussels sprouts, of course. Mike's um, ribeye right there. That's a cognac cream. A cognac cream, okay. Michelle went with the same thing right there. We are going to share the Brussels sprouts. And I went with the beef bourguignon, poutine, and the bacon mac and cheese right there. So we're going to give this all a try. Your food looks like you're like in grade school. I know. It's all... The french fries and the mac and cheese. But I love this poutine. This is one of my favorite dishes. So we are going to enjoy this. I will have to say the tables are quite close here at the Cellier. So we'll be friends with the everybody besides and everything. So you're going to try your steak? Oh, like oh, oh, I'll try the Brussels sprout with you. Good again. I thought it was steak. So we'll try the Brussels sprout. Cheers, honey. Cheers. There we go. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Congratulations, Congratulations Becca. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you happen to see her, make sure you say hello. She'll be at Epcot somewhere. Those bustles. Where's Waldo? It's where's Becca? Really? People have met me at Coronado. People have met me at Auto Plaza. People yep. have met me everywhere. You've met her everywhere. Those Brussels sprouts. Becca, what do you think of those Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Those Brussels sprouts and uh, filet pig are two top. Yeah. Brussels. Yeah. It's more of a shredded. It's not I like a full. that though. You like I the like shredded. Okay. I do. I'd, I'd rather have the whole. Yeah. yeah, me too. I like that the shredded gets more like crispy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, STK is still my favorite. I mean, when they're Oh, yet. you got to go there, girl. But these are fantastic. Love a good sprout. Mm -hmm. I tried my best to not get potatoes, but they let you substitute your veggie side. Like in my case, we got the smashed potatoes, but you have to pick one of the other entrees, vegetables, to be able to substitute it. Like I wanted to substitute the Brussels sprouts, but that's a side, so you still have to purchase that. Right. So 
they were all kind of the same carb mash stuff, so I just stuck with potatoes. Yep. Just so you know. Sometimes they will let you kind of move things around, but sometimes they won't. Yeah. So. Um, see, I was searing her steak with me. Right there. Here we go. No sauces, no nothing. Just as is. Man, that is good. The char on that steak is perfect. It's pretty good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It is mac and cheese time. Oh, it is hot. Yeah. You can see the steam coming off of that. Cheers. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That is some good mac and cheese. The truffles. Yeah, very saucy. I would say, yeah. It the smoke cheese. Yes, you can. I'm going to finally give my poutine a try right there. Look at the mushroom right there. Mm. And the curds. Look at the cheese curds on that. This is one of my favorite dishes at my cell yet. Trying our last, last ice wine during our dinner. Uh, Michelle's already tried it. She said this wasn't her favorite. This is the Emotions de la Tour Blanche. Okay. Natural sugar. High concentrations of natural sugar is complex aromas of spice and dried fruits. That's the spice and dried fruits might be the tricky. Oh yeah, it's got more of a... It's a little on the side. Yeah. Kind of burny. Kind of burny. The middle one was our like favorite. Yeah. With the mango and the um, peach hints right there. Mango is apricot. Yeah, Becca says the same thing. Gets in your eyes, too. Yeah. Yeah. The middle one was my favorite. Yeah. Was that my favorite one? That almost, without mocking it, it tastes more like the um, cheaper fruit one. Um, do you want a box? Just a box, I think. Do you want a separate? Yeah, a separate. Two. Yeah. Finished it just because I needed to. But definitely, we're getting some boxes to take our stuff home. The only time I can see her is through the camera. Is that the only? Oh, yeah. I this told you, room. table's are really tight. So we're getting some boxes that take our leftovers home. Travelers, we just finished up the La Cellier to celebrate Becca's new position. We had a great dinner. No desserts tonight. We were so full from everything. The Brussels sprouts were sweet enough with the maple glaze. So that was our desserts. Thank you guys so much for having us at Epcot for a little special event we went to tonight. But Becca, like I said, you may see her around next time you come to Epcot. So travelers, like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there.